Peace, kings and queens, gods and goddesses. Welcome back to another video. I pray you're well. Um, this is going to be a collective reading. Make sure you like up on the video as you come in. If you resonate with me as a reader or if you resonate with the message, please be sure to subscribe and share, share, share. If you feel it may resonate with someone you know, please spread the message. I would love that. Divine Spirit Universe Source. What is the message? Some of you guys could be divorcing from a narcissist, but they'll be back because they want to be the ones to walk away. Uh, you have a love spell. You've been bewitched. You have water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have confession and you have divorce. Someone is too full of themselves. Yeah, someone is definitely too full of themselves. They, it's it's almost as if they'll be damned if you walked away from them. So they could be doing the extra mile or doing the most by getting a love spell casted upon you. They could be confessing this. Or somebody's going to confess this in court. All right, divorce court. Some of you guys could be just simply experiencing a breakup with a water sign. Or you could be a water sign. You have cycles, confession, cycle. Somebody's name may start with a C. Fate, karma, something ending, something new beginning. Someone may be confessing something in order to continue some sort of cycle with you. They feel like if they confess something that this cycle won't end. I'm not quite sure if the confession is even true though. Because this person is such a narcissist. You have challenges. Make a decision. Work on inner healing here. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, commitment. Things are getting serious. Whoever, whoever you are, you may go, you may be ending a cycle with the water sign and going into a new cycle with an earth sign. <clears throat> there could be a fire sign involved in challenges or who's involved in this divorce. Yeah, you're going to be able to open up your heart to somebody new. <clears throat> or just simply opening up your heart will uh, will help you attract more love. So remember not to be blocked off or be bitter or tainted due to this narcissist or this love spell here. You have guardian angel. A lost loved one watches over you. Could be an air sign. Or this air sign who is a guardian angel is assisting you and moving on. Someone is unavailable and a waste of time. It's over. I feel like it's with this narcissist. Someone's having a hard time with a divorce or a separation. This is a huge challenge for somebody. Yeah, I'm picking up on some sort of supply. Okay. You, you may be this narcissist biggest supply. And without you, they're lost. They're dead weight. They can't breathe. They can't move. They solely got energy off of you or inspiration from you or their confidence from you. And you're moving on. You working on your inner, inner healing is devastating to this person. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but could be. Who's this narcissist? Unexpected income here. So this could be somebody who 
is an opportunist. It could be an Aquarius or a Cancer. I'm picking up on uh, February 7th or July 2nd. You have number 25, High Honor. So this could be somebody who is in the military or they have a military background. Someone who is very stern. Somebody who is held in honor. This is somebody who is held in eye honor and eye honor. Something about your honor. Something about the courtroom. But this person, they're held to a high standard. But it's based off of lies. Something is being revealed here about this narcissist. Or this person doesn't, this person isn't respected. They're more so feared in a sense. Look, you have courthouse. I feel like people more so fear this person. They either fear this person or they're embarrassed by this person. Someone just makes a fool of themselves. Someone's going to make a fool of themselves in the courtroom as well. However, this person acts in the family room or in a in a one on one conversation, they're going to show their ass in the courtroom, and they're just going to prove your case. Or <laughs> yeah. they're going to prove your point to the judge or something like that. It's like whatever evidence you have, it's just icing on the cake because this person is going to show their ass. Just period. They can't help it. Uh, Love story. Okay, so this person is wealthy. So they have the means to get some sort of love spell done on you, or they, they've gone to a legitimate uh, priest here. You got bad health, but this is going to backfire on them. Yeah, imprisonment. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like whoever they went to to put a love spell on you or to get some sort of ritual recipe is what I'm hearing. They're going to confess that they are the ones that helped this person or this person came to them because I feel like why this is suitable for court is because this person was attempting murder. They were attempting to... delete somebody okay by way of their health so this could be poison or this could be putting something in someone's food or drink or medicine maybe someone uh, needs to take some sort of medicine and someone is switching the medicine out it's very diabolical here they're going to jail this period what's divorce despair I'm telling you they're having a hard time with this you all could be between the ages of 25 and 32 you have a message of concern mm -hmm. I feel like this person's lawyer or attorney is going to be delivering the message that uh, this person will be going to jail or they will be doing jail time they cannot get out of this and it's because somebody in the cut have evidence on what they've been trying to do to someone or attempting to do to someone to get some unexpected income this could have something to do with life insurance and this is also greed because this person is already wealthy so it's just because they don't want you to leave yeah you have great fortune and you have courtship they don't want you moving on with someone else That's what it is. You guys can have teenage kids or young adults. But I definitely see you moving on here into a new commitment or to or falling in love with yourself again or just healing yourself, doing the inner healing here.
somebody's uh, smitten over you. This narcissist knows it. And this narcissist also knows your worth here. Yeah, you have the lovers. The challenges here. And sudden woe. Oh, yeah. This is eating this person up. Because the one thing that uh, will deflate a man's ego is you moving on to another man with more money, more resources, more power, more respect. And that's what you're doing. You've hit the jackpot with somebody. We have thief. Distant horizon. Oh, this person is also going to jail for uh, money laundering. Mm -hmm, concerned. Somebody's father is concerned about this wealthy man, this narcissist. Yeah, and we have the emperor here at the bottom of the uh, tarot deck. Someone chose a dark pathway, and they're going to be getting some sort of message, probably while sitting in jail or writing in jail. Yeah, you have the you have uh, adjudication pathway message in house. Uh, okay, so whoever you are, if you're going to court. You're going to win everything in court, okay? Just period. Just period. You're going to be granted everything. The house, the car, the kids, the dog. You won it all. Uh, also, if someone was giving you a hard time signing divorce papers, you're going to... Uh, everything's going to be granted right there in the house. In the house. <laughs> in the courthouse. Uh, the judge is going to make this person sign the papers you have poverty this person is losing it all to you even their occupation mature man privileged lady toil and labor this person is going to uh, this person is going to attempt to get out on early release by way of doing some sort of uh work in jail or like being a chef in the kitchen or some sort of mentor once again like a true narcissist they're putting on some sort of mask or front like they're one way and they're not they're just scheming scamming plotting so that they can get out early this person is definitely getting seven to fifteen years depending on their age. Like if they're 25, they're not getting out until they're 35. If they're 27, they're not getting out until they're 37. It doesn't matter the age, but the time frame is what matters. Let's see what else here. Let's pull some, some tarot here. So if you've been feeling kind of tired, lethargic, stressed out for no reason, um, maybe even some signs and symptoms of a common cold or flu, uh, some of you guys may be feeling backed up or going to the bathroom too much as far as diarrhea, this could be slight symptoms of a love spell or uh, whatever someone has been putting in your, your thing. Um, or this could just simply be happening happening around you to someone you know this, does, this doesn't have to directly be your situation but we do have a father figure here or a husband or someone who is fit to be a husband someone who is more fit to be a king an Aries Is just coming in. Fast communication. I hear someone trying to move money around. You got the judgment. Waking up to a higher calling, a purpose. This is an awakening. 
you could be a Scorpio, dealing with a Scorpio, have Pluto in Scorpio, uh, you have the Ace of Swords, so this is being truthful with oneself here, Ten of Cups, you're moving into a new partnership, or whatever your Ten of Cups look like. I see some of you guys selling this house. Like if you win the house in court or in a divorce, I see you selling it. You don't want any parts of this person. You don't want to hold on to this person's energy. You want to rid of it completely. I see you collaborating with a real estate agent or, excuse me. Yeah, real estate agent. I'm also hearing a loan shark. We got the moon. So there's, uh, there's communication happening behind the scenes or in the dark. Somebody's being deceptive or there are deceptive messages coming in. Okay, it could be from a Cancun or a Pisces. This could, this, this could be distractions or this could be, again, the love spell. So I feel like this love spell is wearing off or it has worn off. Uh, yeah, the Nine of Wands in reverse. There's a blended family here. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm, I'm seeing someone connecting with this person's friend, with this narcissist's friend. I don't know if this is you, but uh, I see it. Something about uh, someone being a shoulder to lean on here. This, this person could be using this as evidence, but it's too late. They could be attempting to appeal or reopen the case with some new evidence about you dealing with a friend or if this is not you, someone you know. But yeah, it's too late. We've already moved on. Some of you guys are moving out of state. You're buying a new home out of state. Or you're getting some sort of clarity on your next move with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords here. By your guardian angel, your ancestors. And yeah, you got big changes here, big opportunities. The universe is blessing you. I also feel like this uh, this dark witch or whoever assisted this person in putting some sort of spell on you or doing something diabolical or heinous to you. The reason why they are confessing and they're coming forward because they feel guilty. Okay. For, for doing something for someone uh, unnecessarily, okay? You didn't deserve whatever this person wanted done to you, okay? Wow, you got some good shit coming in after this. Yes, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands. Def definitely a family expanding, businesses expanding. Uh, someone could definitely be getting pregnant. I see someone getting some sort of recognition off of this story or off of this case or um, receiving some sort of award or achievement. I feel like the reward here is new love or self-love or being renewed. I'm hearing renewed in Christ. You have the Queen of Wands and the Fool. You got the Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. A lot of aces, meaning a lot of new beginnings here. While with the Wheel of Fortune. You could be a fixed sign or dealing with one, but this is faded energy. Page of Wands, good news coming in, ravishing messages, messages of inspiration. Uh, you could be getting a lot of like support mail or people reaching out to you. I don't know if this is a televised case. Two of Pentacles.
I'm really picking up um, with the two of pentacles this energy is causing um, a balance okay in your finances maybe while you were dealing with this person they were causing a lot of imbalance in your life in your body I'm hearing okay throwing your pH off something about a pH balance something about just balance all around was thrown off but it's 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 it's, it's being rebalanced here with the temperance I feel like whoever you are you're very patient as well that works to your benefit I feel like you're patient with yourself you're patient with the universe some of you guys endured a lot from this marriage or this relationship like you took a lot from this person the lovers king of uh, queen king of swords or page of pentacles ten of cups so you deserve what's coming towards you some of you guys are birthing a new idea or you may be pregnant and your unborn child is very creative. They could be very busy in your belly. Or you could be just very motivated with this child. If it isn't your first pregnancy. And you, you just feel something different with this fetus. For others of you, this could just be a birth of a new idea and you have the means to explore it. Means meaning the financial means here. You also are getting more opportunities coming in after detaching yourself from this narcissist. They had a really bad reputation, whoever this is. Some of you guys are reuniting with uh, an old an old friend. Or maybe the person that you're connecting with, that's this narcissist friend. You guys were cordial first or something like that. The Queen of Wands, you look good. You look good, babe. Your confidence is back. Some of you guys may have really curly, natural hair, big hair. Um, some flowers are very significant. Some of you guys may have a cat or cats. Or you may be looking into getting one here. Or cats are very significant. It might be your spiritual animal. Um... I feel like it got a lot of you guys as well you may have dodged a bullet or you may have dodged this love spell due to being action oriented because you're always on the move you're never still or stagnant so nothing can really touch you you could definitely be a Sagittarius Aries Leo the hermit There's a Virgo being investigated about this, or a Virgo was involved in this. Are you connecting with the Virgo? But this definitely talks about going within, okay? Seeing things from a different perspective. Embarking on a new spiritual path, especially with the judgment out here. This is a grand awakening period. And I feel like um, this is giving the first shall be last and the last shall be first type of energy. It's like this person now has to bow down at your feet. I'm hearing bow down, bitches. Like this, is, this, this card is giving very godly energy. Very goddess, god energy. Five of Wands, it came out in a struggle. I've been getting a lot of divine feminine energy. I'm coming, divine feminine. I'm coming. The Page of Pen uh, the Goddess of Pentacles. Ooh. There's people like breaking their necks over you. There's people breaking their necks over you. They want you. You are wanted. You are a high commodity, just period. A lot of divine feminine energy here. The magician. 
Virgo again, Gemini, Two of Swords. I see a lot of you guys being very strategic as it pertains to who you date or who you choose to move forward with again in a partnership. Yeah, the love is in the three of uh, swords. With the seven of wands, you're protecting yourself here. And the seven of pentacles. A lot of you guys are definitely going to be a whole new person when it comes to love and relationships. You're not turning a blind eye to things anymore. And you're realizing your power here. A lot of you guys are realizing there's a lot of scammers and tricksters in the world. Okay, people who just want to use and abuse you. Look, you have the Empress and the Emperor. <laughs> wow. We're going to definitely put those down with the chariot. King of Cups, Two of Wands, Death Card. Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Oh, this is going to be a, like a beautiful wedding here. Someone's going to be coming out in a, a chariot or like a horse and carriage. Someone's definitely putting you on a pedestal. Someone's definitely putting you on a pedestal here. Clarify the Empress, Emperor, chariot. Dinosaurs reverse and the Harry Potter reverse. Yeah, this Taurus or this Earth sign, they definitely don't have a hold on you anymore. That that's who's in jail. This person holds no power here over you. <laughs> At that matter. Uh they're still attempting to project onto you from a jail cell or for a restrict or from a restricted mindset here. But you're not phased. Okay, you're free, they're not. You're free, they're not. will not have any contact with you. And this emperor is going to make sure of it. Page of Pentacles. You may have a child with this person, with this hairy font in the reverse. Uh, I hear a masculine telling another masculine. You can talk to him or speak to him when he's 18. Yeah, the love is here. choice with it with it with this emperor or this empress yeah because i'm hearing whatever you went through you feel like it was worth it whatever you went through with this narcissist even though it may have affected your health your wealth your mind like this person literally tried to break you down and i'm using tried uh heavily because it, it, it didn't work. You were too strong, too powerful, too protected, too loved. Mm -hmm. The hangman. Yeah, this person tried to sacrifice you. Sad case. This is crazy. Let's get some angel uh, numbers assist you with this. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. I pray you guys can hear me, too. When I'm this low, that means it's late and sunset is sweet. So, just 
turn your volume up when you see a late night reader. Alright. Four angel numbers here. We have 0330, a lucky shirt. Love, peace, hope, and optimism. Transferring responsibility to others, progress, creativity. Pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to, your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad, spe uh, with a broad spectrum of individuals. Okay, so some of you guys may have a lucky shirt or lucky pants, lucky crystals. Whatever. We have 1515, the big break. Innovation, focus, creation, progress, forward movement, skills and goals. An opportunity, help, extra cash, or other support is coming your way. So keep going and have fun when performing your tasks. The most tremendous success comes from passion. All efforts will be rewarded big time. I love that for you because some of you guys are definitely getting a big break here. All right. We have 2112. It's up to you. Someone watching over you. Good fortune. Unforeseen forces. Direction. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon. I say, I love that. All right, last card here. Last card. Four, 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 protection. Excuse me. Change, rebellion, guidance, justice, truth, and character. And love. Get ready for the good things you've been hoping for. You were born for a higher calling. Put your energy into going forward towards your ambitions, and the universe will align itself to provide you with the right people, circumstances, and resources to make things happen. Just period. Then we have 222 alignment with 0505 unexpected shift 24 24 good times so things are turning out in your favor collective i love this for you like the video before you go remember to share the video like the video and i will check y'all on